Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. Hello everyone. BSP here. Working on a tutorial for a semi-auto wheat farm. First we're doing the dirt at 8 by 64 on the bottom and 7 by 64 on the rest. Now we're doing the outside and did the pistons. We're going to go here, which is going to block the water. Now we're doing a redstone tower for the switch to turn on and off the water. Solid blocks to transfer the redstone. And let's see. Yep. Doing our redstone, making sure we get it all powered right. When it's powered off, it's going to let the water out. And that's where my signal runs out. Now we got to figure out a way to do the redstone and get that piston there powered can't go there so I need to go back until it will be powered one more nope one more doesn't work so let's go back in and this should do it yep now we're gonna do these here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yep, we got that right. Just make sure. Third time's the charm. And we have it right. So we pop this here and do a little L gives us power to there. Now we add the water all across the thing. And now we're fixing the switch. I tried a piston, but piston and a redstone block, but it didn't work, so we're doing a straight signal. And here comes the water down. Takes a little while, but it does come down. Add an ice to the bottom. Let this stuff move faster. Now we're going to replace this wall. Replacing the wall, no matter what kind of block you use. Putting water in, and then using buttons instead of signs, because it looks better using buttons. And one here, one at the back. And put your water in, that extends it further. And keep doing that all the way down. Get down here, put some soul sand. And we're going to build a column all the way up. So we'll do some glass, makes it look better. And here we go. We're going to go all the way up. Up to the top. Now we need to do a real quick L coming over here. We'll drop off, make sure it's far enough and move the glass, put the water back, get that column working. Put a hopper in, right height, then we're gonna do four, because we're gonna do a minecart on top to make it a speed unloader. Hopefully it'll be fast enough. Put one cart on there, push it over, then put three posts. That allows you to push it in the corner right there. Now we're going to put some blocks over the top and let it pick up there. I had to end up changing this to ice because it wouldn't go over the hopper to be, I mean the minecart to pick it up. Now to put the chest in. Here goes one and there's the last one. We did a decent amount of chest just to be sure. And looks good. Now we're going to do some doorways to get to access to all the levels. Stairs all the way up to the top. Now we're doing the water. Four from the 
end and then eight in between. So that's four. And then you're gonna do eight, and then eight and eight until you go to the end. Then you're gonna put the steps in and then add water to them. Now we got all the water. Oh, can't do that one. So gotta do a block on the outside. Make sure you put a repeater on the power side of the block to make it pass through the block. I didn't show it here, but that's what I ended up doing. Put a repeater on the left side. And here we go. Add the last of the water. And then it's time to start tilling the ground in a minute. Let's see. Yeah, I better get a good one because if you do this in survival, you're probably going to wear out a few of me, even if it's another eye. Because this is a lot of grass to till. And I've got all this tilled and needs some light, so crops sometimes won't grow without light, and you don't want anything spawning. I don't think anything can spawn on the stairs or the farmland, but just to be sure. Looks pretty good. Now let's try it out. Yeah, it's gonna lag like crazy, even in. You can see me stutter some in the creative and. I made a mistake before to pick up items in creative and it kind of deletes them once your inventory gets full so I go up here and shift over to survival I end up using the menu I need to get in the habit of using the chat it's a lot faster to use the chat to do it but I got so used to doing it this way it's still lagging even in the menu because all the entities and let's speed through this I'm grabbing these and shoving them into the chest because I tried earlier and I was worried it might despawn I need to find a faster way to unload the items because even the speed hopper isn't fast enough it just sits there and I can't remember how many minutes the items can stay there without despawning so I wanted to take it and just do it like this makes it a lot easier and we get through there yep, I actually use the chat this time pop into creative and look around check everything still got a couple pieces in there but they usually get out once you turn the water off that other flow will clear it out now I'm separating the, what we get from it and we got a pretty good bit, a ton of seeds, so you could probably use this as a way to get bone meal or something, I'm not sure. Got a decent amount of wheat, you probably get way more carrots if you did this with carrots. I ended up doing pretty good. I think it worked out real well, and it's actually simple, just a very little red stone. Mostly just using water. It takes a long time to plant and you just gotta wait for it so it's not a automatic but hey it works pretty good. And here's our haul. We got one shulker, two shulker, and almost a third on the wheat and one, two, three, four. Almost four and a quarter or a third on the seeds so it turned out real good thank you for watching I hope you have a great day take care of yourselves and goodbye I never answered a no man I still go go